out so today I've got a video that I normally personally wouldn't do because I love the drugstore don't get me wrong there are some things high-end that I like but today we're doing a full face high-end apart from the brows but you'll see um so everything is high-end some things are new to me um I've been on Beauty Bay which have got their 30% off sale or up to 30% off site wide sale until Black Friday so I picked up the Nabla con uh, concealer, a couple of new bits, some of my ultimate favourites that I use in this one, some that I use in my everyday makeup routine um, so if you want to see how I got this look, that highlight and this gorgeous glittery look which is perfect for the festive season which is just around the corner we are in November so to me it's already Christmas <laughs> but um, keep watching and you will see exactly how I do this look um, remember to subscribe if you're new um, I would love um, to say hi to everyone um, so leave me a comment down below I do reply to everyone and um, I will let you get on with the tutorial <coughs> okay so as I said um, some of these products are new to me some are sort of favourites um, so I thought I'd just do full face of some of the most expensive makeup I own. Um, let's have a start. I normally, well, this is a tiny, tiny version, as you can see. <laughs> um, it's the Benefit Professional, the Pearl Primer. I normally use the original Professional, but I got this pearl one in a birch box it's a sample size so I thought I would give it a try out it's got a nice shimmer to it as soon as I'm gonna be using a full coverage matte foundation to wear her dry I'm not keen on the smell but if it works it's definitely worth it minute I've got some breakouts going on but hopefully they will be disguised um, so I'm gonna move on to I'm gonna start with eyes today and I'm gonna prime my lids with the Urban Decay primer potion in original really like this it makes um, everything that stay in place all day. Now I just tend to tap that into my lid with my finger. Make sure it's spread everywhere. To my brow. Now the only thing I haven't got is a brow product but I may have a shadow colour that will sort of um, do for brows if not I'll do them off camera um, and then I'll obviously show you a complete look later on but I would give the Nabla um, concealer which looks like this it's a really good size so it's like not far off like more than half of my hand it's supposed to be a really good dupe for tart shape tape and I got it in at the shade porcelain which I think is the lightest shade I've got a side doe foot on that so I'm just gonna put a blob oh it smells like um sun cream <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a little blob of that and just tap that, spread that everywhere. So I'm looking funky now. It dries down pretty well. 
I'm just going to tap over that, make sure um, to get rid of any excess, make sure we don't have any crease in, which because I've put the Urban Decay Primer underneath, I shouldn't get any, but obviously we want to prevent that as much as possible. Okay, and it just takes takes off that little, if you can see on my middle finger, it just takes off that bit of excess that's on the lid. Then I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush. Okay, so I'm just going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to take the colour Peach Butter um, and just press that onto my lid, even though that shadow's dried down. Um, just gonna make sure it stays in place. Which I don't always do this, but with us doing just a plain smoky eye, we don't want obviously any bright pigments to really pop on it or anything. Um, like if I was gonna do like a bright red eye or something like that, or put a bright orange on. I wouldn't set it because it just makes that colour pop a bit better. Okay, and then I'm going to take this big fluffy Morphe eye brush. Um, I don't know the number of it. Um, it came in the Morphe brush that you used to be able to get off Beauty Bay. That with, I think I'm going to go with this one on the top row, which is called Peach Tea. I'm going to use that as my transition colour. And the mirror is really good in this palette, it's quite big. So I'm just going to use that as my transition. Just to blend that through my crease. And I find these shadows blend really well. I'm going to go with the next shade, which is Peach Cobbler. Um, my favourite shade in this, I'm just going to swatch two of my favourite shades out of this, are uh, called Peach Punch, which is this hold on, yeah, orangey colour. And then we've got Peach Sangria, which is this burgundy. And these colours are a little bit flaky, but that's probably because I pressed too hard. But look at the pigmentation on them. They are amazing. Um, if you want me to do a look with some of the brighter tones in here, let me know. But um, these colours are so pigmented. There's a little bit of fallout, but that's why we're doing the eyes first today. So like I said, I'm using the same brush and taking Peach Cobbler, which is just like a medium brown, warm brown colour, mainly focusing it in my crease, not taking it up as high as we took peach tea. Small detail brush which is stained from doing a, the Red Riding Hood look that I did at Halloween um, and just taking a bit of peach tar. I'm going to put that where I put Peach Cobbler, but because it's on a smaller brush, it'll be a bit more concentrated. So, starting on the outer and through the crease. Outer corner, even. Finish my sentence. my outer corner a bit because I'm going to do a sort of cut crease style and then I'm just going to go back to back to that fluffy brush take a little bit more peach cobbler on the brush and just blend the edge of that dark colour which like I said these blend really easily so shouldn't take too long to get that perfect blend. I'm going to take the Urban Decay All Nighter, which like I say is in Gold Goddess. I've got this in a couple of different colours, but I thought this goes perfectly with the browns. 
So these are really easy to apply. And just pick it up. It's all on the do it's all on a dough foot, quite a flat one, and you just place it down where you want it. Try not to look up because obviously you don't want it to transfer, but you could, if you wanted, put a layer of concealer underneath or even a layer of like a creamy gold metallic um, to make this pop a lot more. Or, as I'm going to do, build up a second layer. Because of the shape of the doe foot, it's really easy to sort of carve out your own cut crease. Quite easy to control. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm just going to go put another layer on top of both, like those that I've done, just to make it a bit more solid. do just to blend it I just sort of flick it out towards the outer corner um, just to give it um, it's just easier to blend than blending it the other way with the shadow I've found some people do like to blend it with the shadow inwards but I like to do it out um, so you get sort of a bit more of a sparkle so when you turn you still get the sparkle no matter where you look at brow brush just Run spooly through them. Right, let's see if this colour is dark enough. Just making sure that glitter is dried. I don't want it to transfer. Um, which is chocolate dipped. I had a powder brow in a while. Is that going to be a bit too warm? a little bit too red. I'll put this on and then I can always go over it with a pencil later for a finish. For foundation today I'm gonna you've seen me use it a few times. My Estee Lauder Double Wear <coughs> um in the shade 1W2 sand which is slightly slightly just a little bit too warm for me at the minute but once we've got everything else on um, it's not too bad and I like to take a I think it's technically a concealer brush I mean look you can just about you can just see it's just a bit too yellow for me at the minute um, I normally use or I bought this when I had a tan so not exactly the best time of year to be using it because the only time I get a tan is when I'm in 30 degree heat. So yeah, I just use a brush because this hasn't got a pump. Apparently you can buy the pumps for it, which would be so much easier if they did just come with a pump anyway, but bit on my neck to blend out my paleness. Stop me looking like a ghost. Okay. And then I am gonna take see me use this. I really like the finish that it gives this foundation. Um my it's ten, it's called a finishing brush but it's a dual fiber brush. Um I'm just gonna 
start by blending and buffing that all out. And to say I really like the finish that it gives this foundation. Okay, so that's the foundation blended out. And then I'm gonna take the Nabla Concealer again and just even out my complexion a bit. So put some under my eyes. This is gonna be nice and brightening. And like I said, it smells amazing. A little bit on the edge of my nose. That's not even central. And a little, by the look of it, goes a long way. And then I'm just going to take, this is quite a small blending brush, which is technically a foundation brush, but because of the size of it, um, you can get away with using it for your concealer as well. And it blends things out nicely. I'm just going to take the foundation brush that I used and just blend that concealer, make sure I've got no harsh lines. Obviously we don't want um wanna see where that concealer was, but it's so bright, look how brightening that is. A bit dewy, which for me is no no. So Fondi Lock It Foundation, no, same powder. And then I'm just going to take a small powder brush and pick some of this up on the brush. That has set me down completely. I've got no um, dewiness at all left there, apart from the sparkle on my eyes. Um, so, first impressions, I really like that. That we've brightened up under my eyes and everything. Um, I'm gonna go in with some colour and a bit of life back into my face. So to contour, which I love. This is my little mini size that I took on holiday with me. Benefit Hula. Um, I know it's not the most high end, um, but it's definitely not drugstore either. So I'm just gonna. Add some shape to my cheeks and then I'm going to take, this is also another new product, I can, which it's, it's called, now it's the Clinique um, True Bronze Pressed Bronzer in Sunkissed, so it's the second shade because it's shade number two, let's have a little swatch of that, oh that's quite nice. shimmery which isn't what I normally go for but let's have a look see uh, so I'm just taking my regular bronzing brush which is next powder brush and I'm gonna add a bit of bronzer oh I like that colour it's my kind of colour it's not too shimmery which is good because I'm going to put this on my forehead and I don't want to be super shiny forehead because like I say that's where I got oily. It's more of a sheen than a shimmery bronzer. Gives you more of a glow which is nice. I like that. Yeah, I like that colour. The only thing I will say, I did my brushing once there and it's done pretty much my whole face. So it is quite pigmented, which I don't always like to have anything too too pigmented. Um, my face, like face powders and bron uh, bronzers and blushes anyway, just because I like, I prefer to build them up. I'm going to take the palette that we were using and just take... A flat, oh, can we see it? 
Then I'll get a flat Morphe brush and just take Peach Tart and run that along my lower lash line. Not taking it quite all the way in, but pretty much like three quarters of the way in. Just making sure we're connecting that lower uh, that corner. A domed flat brush. And I'm going to take the colour Peach Cobbler and Peach Tea mixed together on the brush and blend that out. The fluffy brush that we used for the two lightest colours just to make sure um, we're nice and smudgy. It is a word. Um, and I'm gonna now go off camera and put my mascara on, which if you know me, you know it has to be Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Um, so I will go off camera, put my mascara on. Back, I've got my mascara on, which has made my eyes look super dramatic. Just chucking everything everywhere. So that's made my eyes look super dramatic, really accentuated, sort of the smoky, glittery look. So let's put some blusher on to give myself a bit more colour and some highlight. So I'm going to take the Back Talk palette. We go with W, W, no, Double Take, which is this shade here, because Cheap Shot, which is this one, has got a bit of a purple shimmer to it. So... I think I'm going to go with double takes. So I'm just going to take my blusher brush, take a bit on there, add some colour to my cheeks. I'm really into peach blushes at the minute. I've not been wearing too much pink, but I really like that. I'm just gonna pat it down a little bit on my powder brush. Um, and then I'm gonna take my uh, no highlighter brush. I'm gonna take the colour Party Foul from the Urban Decay, look at that, Urban Decay, um, find a blank spot, let's do it Jeffree Star style, I'm going to use that as my highlight today, hope it's not too dark, I wore this all the time when I was on holiday and throughout the summer, so let's hope not too dark for me. techniques but I can't tell you what it is because it's all worn off and I'm going to take some of that colour and just take that on my brow bone yeah my brows are way too warm but it's the only problem with this makeup look so I'll let it off a little bit on my nose on my cupid's bow And I'm going to take a nice little pencil brush and just mix both low key and party foul and put those on my inner corner. The last part of this look 
some lips which I'm gonna go with one of my favorite lip combos if not my favorite nude which is Mac Cork um, lip liner and Jamie Genevieve is the makeup finish the only thing left to do is spray with this is my mini version the urban decay all nighter this is the one that i put in my handbag um on a night out take it on holiday um just because it's super cute size tiny size um so i'm just gonna spray a little bit on that I like most about the Urban Decay, or about the All Nighter, you don't feel like you're getting chucked with a load of water in your face because it's a super fine um, spritz, so you don't feel like you're getting soaked after you've just done your makeup. So, this is my full face high end products. Yes, technically the brows don't look great, but this is everything. What do you all think? Let's take the headband off. Let's let the hair out a little bit. My eyebrows are doing my head in, so technically they're not high end, they're Primark. But everything else is high end. Um, like I say, a couple of these products were new to me. Really liking that concealer. Covered up my under eye circles, so my dark shadows, um, and the Kat Von D locket. Um, obviously, first time using it, but if I really like it, I think I will be purchasing the bigger size. But the amount that you get, I'll just show you what size is it? Um, doesn't say. Um, Five point four grams. And it is full, like full, full. So I think that will last me a while. Um, but like I say, if I like it, I probably will be buying it because it's really set my concealer in place. Yes, I do get a couple of lines, but that's more because of my age than the actual concealer. It uh, really mattified me, took down any of that dewiness. Um, I'm really liking it. Obviously, the Steelers I've used plenty of times before, but this is perfect for Christmas glam looks. Um, you could add a little bit of gloss on top of the nude lip, just to really make it that little bit more festive. But this is my full face high end. Um, let me know what you think of it. Um, as you can tell, I'm still getting used to my hair, but I'm really liking my hair. Um, so, let me know what you think. Look at that gorgeous highlight. Um, and I will see you all next time. Bye.